What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to use the dynamic text replacement tool in Unbounce so that whenever you're promoting on PPC networks like Google or Bing ads or M Microsoft ads, the keyword or query string or whatever token you want to use, doesn't have to be those two, will show up on your landing page to match what the user typed in. So as you recall, this is our basic landing page that we've created, get your free 30 day keto diet plan. Let's suppose someone types something in into Microsoft or Google ads, they type one thing in and it triggers the keyword, it triggers a different keyword. What would that look like? Something like this. Let's suppose someone typed in how to lose weight with keto and it triggered this keyword, best keto diet meal plan. This is what your landing page would look like. Or suppose they typed in, can I lose weight with keto? And it triggered the keyword free keto diet meal plan. This is what your landing page will look like. It is very relevant to what the user typed in. It's going to increase your ad score, your relevance, your conversion rate, your ad position, all that good stuff, just because it's so relevant to what the user types in. So let me take a second to undo what I have done here. Um, and I will be back to show you how we do this from scratch. Okay, so I'm back, I've undid what I have done, and here's our basic landing page. Now here's the one with these tokens that I've added. As you can see, it's the same. Here was the one here, if I click refresh, I've undone it, okay? So let's put it back together. Let me show you how to do it. So the first thing we have to do is select the text that you want to dynamically change. It doesn't have to be the full text that you have. So I can select, for example, just this part. Okay, or I can select just this part. So for example, if you're adding things like get free or uh, you're adding things like call now or get now, you can say call now, right, the two dots, and then add your dynamic text replacement to match what the user searched for. So in this case, let's suppose we wanna, we wanna take the whole thing. I'm gonna take it, I'm going to click on action here, okay, the action tab, and I'm going to click on dynamic text. And this is where we set the parameter and the default text. Now the default text is already set. This is what will show for users who don't come in through your PPC networks, users who don't come in through the appended URL that you made, okay? This is the generic text that will show up if something goes wrong, okay? So this is your default backup text. You can select your text style, whether you want it all uppercase, whether you want it all lowercase, whether you want a title case, so every first letter of every word is gonna be capital, or you want a sentence case where the first letter of the first word is gonna be capital, everything else is gonna be lowercase, okay? So maybe for something like a subheadline, this could work, so it doesn't, uh, so that you can differentiate it from the headline, okay? So let's suppose uh, for this one, we want it to be title case, because this is the very, the first important headline. This is the URL parameter we're going to set. You can name it whatever you want to. You can name it monkey. You can name it hi, you can name it hello, right? You can name it whatever you want to. This is the parameter that will we will link to our website URL so that the text gets replaced. It knows, it matches the landing page parameter that you set with the URL, okay? So for this parameter, you can set it whatever you want to. Let's suppose we make it keyword, okay? For keyword, to match the keyword that um, the user typed in. Now in Google, they don't have a query string token. Google, Microsoft Ads has a query string token and a keyword token. Google Ads does not. They only have the keyword token, okay? So with Google Ads, um, you can't use query string. Uh, the difference is keyword is the keyword that you selected. So let's suppose I have five keywords, keto diet, keto, keto meal plan, okay? Let's suppose are, those are the keywords, but let's suppose the user actually types in, hi, how are you? I would like to lose weight with keto. That what, what they typed in is a query string. Microsoft Ads would allow you to replace whatever title head you want with the actual thing that the user wrote, which will make it more relevant. Google does not, so when someone types in something like that, it's going to trigger a keyword, such as keto diet. It won't trigger, it won't show the whole thing. This is important for you to know because um, there is a token called query string, which is extremely important, which is what I just explain to you about, which you can use with Microsoft, but not with Google, okay? So keep that in mind. So let's name this URL parameter for our keyword, keyword, okay? Make it simple. Again, you can name it whatever you want to, and we'll click on save. 
Then let's select this headline, this, this uh, subheadline, and we can do the same thing. Click on Action. Click on Dynamic Text. Now, that is it. I mean, that is how you do the dynamic text replacement. In short, you click Save, you republish, and then you change the URL. I'll show you how to do that at the end. But if you want to add more of these dynamic text replacements, there's a bunch of tokens that are available. So if I go here and I click on, for example, um, Microsoft Ads Tracking Tokens, you will see a whole list of their parameters. Okay, so let me see. Um, let me just go here. And, and the same with Google. So for example, they have the token campaign, which will give you the name of the campaign. They have a token called Ad Group Network. So for example, guys, if you, um, I'll, I'll link the full list down below for Google and Microsoft Ads. But for example, if you have an ad group name, such as females, age 25 to 34, males, age uh, 50 to 64, if you have an ad group by the name of that, which is important if you're optimizing your campaigns, what you can do is also set it up so that it says, you know, keto diet for, right? And then you say, you add this ad group token. So for instance, you can, let me just copy that, paste it here. Now the copy paste works. So for instance, I can do something like this. Keto diet for, right, um, anyone. And then what I can do is I can select this, go to action, click on dynamic text replacement and change this and say your old parameter, for example, add group. Again, this can be whatever you want to. The important thing is to know the token, not the parameter, okay? Parameter doesn't matter. You need to know the token. So let me give you an example of what this would look like. And let's make this title text, okay? So now this will be changed, okay? And this will be changed and this, and that will be changed. Now we didn't change this, so let's just quickly do that. Click on action, click on dynamic text. And let's make this, let's say this is the query string, okay? Which isn't available in Google, so this won't work with Google. If we use the actual token, obviously you can make the parameter whatever you want to, it doesn't matter. Um, and let's make this sentence case and I'll click save, okay? So this is just an example, okay? Um, so we've done that, let me now click save. And one more thing, guys, if you want to change this, so for example, <laughs> You, you changed your mind and you, and you don't want to do this dynamic text replacement anymore, don't click on it again and then go to action and click on dynamic text again. Don't do that. That's going to create another dynamic text. I know it's weird. It's going to create a second dynamic text replacement on top of the one you have. So what you should do instead is double click this. So double click that and then double click that again. And that's going to pull this up. If you click on that, select it, and then you click on action again, that's gonna create another one and you're gonna, you know, you'll be left confused. It's gonna redo this whole thing, okay? So don't, don't do that, um, just do it once. So now that we've done that, what we have to do is make a little appendage to our URL, okay? So this is, this is important. You, you have to know this to make it work. So it's publishing and let me show you, okay? So we got it, we have this URL here, okay? So this is our URL, okay? Now, what was our first parameter? Our first parameter was keyword. Okay, so doesn't matter what you want. It, it, it doesn't matter what the name is, but let's suppose, okay, we want this to be, so I'm gonna type in keyword, okay, which is the parameter. So you have to type in question mark if you don't have any query strings, and I'll get into that in a second. So just type in question mark and then type in your parameter and then type in enter, okay? And this will be your keyword. Now, the URL that you submit to Google or Bing is gonna be the token. So for example, the keyword token, Okay, this is important. This isn't your parameter, okay? This isn't your parameter. So this would have to be one of the available tokens. It could be query string. It could be ad group, right? Campaign ID, whatever is listed here. Again, I'll put the list, the full list down below in the description, but it's gonna be one of these that are available. So you cannot make this up. You can't just make up, you know, monkey, like I said, for the parameter. This has to be one that you select. So let's say this is keyword, okay? That's the first one. Now, if we click enter, the keyword is gonna be replaced. So if I actually change this and I say, you know, the keyword that matches is keto diet, this is gonna say keto diet, okay? Now, if you want to add more tokens, now you have to add this ampersand, okay? You can't add a question mark again because you already have one. If a question mark is anywhere in your URL, you have to add an ampersand, you cannot add a question mark. So let's suppose for this other one, we want to add this query string, which is exactly what the user typed in. Now, this won't work in in uh, Google Ads, okay? This will only work in Bing Ads um, or my Microsoft Ads. Now, I named this query string. Again, I'm, I'm tr tr trying to hit this point home. You can name this whatever you want to. So if I name this monkey, K 
Okay, let me just save this text just to sh show you. That won't matter. So if I click Republish, and now we'll, what we have to do here is while I'm waiting for that to republish, uh, we have to add the parameter. Okay, so again, the next thing we add the parameter equals the token. So that's that. So let's go back and just to show you. So the parameter is monkey. So I'm going to click an and monkey. And we can do whatever we want here. So what do you want to add? Well, query string is very awesome for Microsoft Ad. So I can type in equals query string. And now that's going to be there. So if someone types in instead of that, if someone types in, let me change that. If someone types in, hello, I would like to know how to lose weight. Okay. If that is what someone types in exactly into Microsoft Ads, that is what we'll show here. Really awesome, extremely relevant, okay? Um, unfortunately, Google Ads doesn't have this. Now, for the last one, right, we said ad group. Let's suppose you have an ad group named males, you know, um, 25 to 34. Then what we would do, again, let's go back and see what our parameter was for this one. Oops, I have to click here. It's ad group. Again, you can name it whatever you want to, like age, right? It doesn't matter. So we named it ad group. So we're going to click here and we're going to append it and say ampersand add group <coughs> equals and the tracking token is add group. So we can say add group. Okay. And we can click enter. And now that's going to be keto diet for add group. So if we change this, if your ad group is named males 50 to 64, it would look something like this. <coughs> okay. Um, now the dash doesn't show here. Um, so maybe you can name, you can rename your ad group to like a two instead of an ampersand. So keto diet for males 50 to 64, right? Perfect. So this is how you do dynamic text replacement. I showed you above and beyond of what is shown in any documentation, guys. The only thing in documentation they have is keyword. Um, there's so many more things you can do with this. Like I said, you know, adding all these tokens, there's a bunch more. There's ad ID, campaign ID, uh, all that stuff. Some of the things you don't want to put like ad ID, no one wants to see those numbers, but some of them are useful like ad group. And if you have an ad group named, you know, males 50 to 64, boom, incredibly important, really uh, fits in with the audience, right? It really makes them feel like, um, you know, this ad is for me. So that's what I wanted to show you. If you guys have any questions, please let me know down below. I think I was pretty diligent and I covered every detail in this video, but if not, please let me know. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I do cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, reviews, you name it. If you want to try Unbounce yourself and you want to try this keyword um, replacement tool, which is really cool, you can click my link below. I give you a 30-day free trial as opposed to a 14-day trial, and I give you 20% off on your first three months after the trial is over. Really cool deal. You can't get it anywhere else. Um, once again, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.